Welcome back. Today we're going to do summary Mistress of the Martial Arts issue number two, volume one by Continuity Comics. Uh, I made the I made a review of the first issue a half year ago <laughs> in June, Ju um, July, I believe, or June. Not entirely sure. I believe July, and I totally forgot about it. Not because it was bad, but I have other comics that I wanted to read, and then I just forgot. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, leave in the description uh, my link to the first review if you want to check it out because there's some backstory there that I think you should should know um, because it continues, of course, in issue uh, number two. Um, the art is by Mark Beecham and Mark Beecham is a great artist and um, yeah, let's let's dive in. So uh, continuing, uh, there is some, okay, a small summary. There's this terrorists. Um, they've, they've been kidnapping people in the museum, and there are three people uh, that are important. Um, one is a uh, possibly the father of Silver Streak. There's this guy here. Um, one is a um, how do you say an, an famous horror film special effects and makeup artist called Tom Savini. Not sure who that is and what his role is because it's not really explained, but. Come a little bit back to that later. And there is a person in there that Samari, this woman, wants to find. A woman, she's actually a young girl. And um, yeah, let's dive in again. Um, I, I just instantly love the art and the colors. It's just great. So um, Samari is, uh, well, the, the, uh, the terrorists want to escape. And Samari wants to stop them. And they turn around and they attack him. What I like about the, these, you know, combat units uh, or soldiers. Uh, I really love their costume. It's really, how do you say, um, cool looking, if, if you will. Um, I mean, check this out, How uh, what their gear is looking like. It looks, looks really fantastic. But there are no slouches. They are actually, you know, at, um, can defend themselves really well. And I mean, for instance, here we see armor uh, flinging a, what's it called, a sigh. And he blocks it. And then he pulls it out of his arm without, you know, showing any pain or screaming or something. And I love this shot also because it, it's been pulled out, you know, like the fist is, you know, going towards the, I call it camera, but it's going toward the reader. So it's just a nice quote unquote 3D effect, if you will. Uh, really cool. Um, what happens next? Oh, skipping a few pages. Well, what happens next is um, that... Megalev wants to jump uh, to the helicopter that the, these terrorists are escaping in, but then um, he uh, the part of it breaks down and he falls. Uh, but he, as you can see, can can you know saving himself. And then I must compliment the the writing here because um, summary says, um, and I'm going to explain that. Summary says um, he's safe, but catching on like that, I don't, I didn't believe it was possible. And Arma says, well, with him, it's, he's full of surprises. Um, why is that for me so um, special? Because we are been, you know, as a reader of Marvel in DC, we have been bombarded with characters that have, have massive powers, you know, like Superman, uh, like the Hulk. Uh, and and um, they can do many astounding things. But in this universe, uh, a guy like um, Megalith, who is strong, probably in this universe, the strongest there is, you know, jumps into, uh, onto a helicopter and then, you know, is, is able to, to do that, you know, and, and summary who has never seen stuff like that before, uh, is very amazed by that. And I like that, you know, small little, um, uh, writing, uh, because, um, for instance, if you are looking at a regular Marvel comic and we have Miss Marvel, uh, one of the most boring characters in, in the whole Marvel Universe. She's getting a power upgrade every week or so. And, and, and otherwise, now she is being, you know, has some new cosmic powers, or she's Sorcerer Supreme, or she's beating the, the, the crap out of the Hulk, stuff like that. I mean, we've been f so um, accustomed to all these power sets that, you know, going, you know, taking a step back and that there are people with less powers, but still amazing, and that people are amazed by those features, uh, and by those feats, I mean, I think that's really cool, and um, I like that. Um, 
because in this universe, nothing is really, really mega overpowered. There's no Superman type like uh, heroes that can, you know, move the moon out of the orbit, stuff like that. No, it's more, I wouldn't say grounded, more like powered down. And um, I think that's great. Uh, so moving on. Um, then um, out of nowhere, um, I mean, look at this. Look at this, this, this shot and the colors and the lighting, you know. Uh, so there's the police is here. They, uh, they want to arrest these people because, uh, well, they was interfering with, uh, with stuff. And then uh, out of nowhere, a helicopter comes, and this is one of the guards they saved in the in the. Uh, wh why am I forgetting? Just give me a second. Um, where where does it say? Um, what I, I from innocent company terrorist at the museum? Jesus Christ, my brain, man. Okay, so they saved it from the museum, and the helicopter pilot. Uh, is actually a friend of Samari, and uh, they're taking uh, her with her. And she says, well, I want, I want to take my friends with me. And he agrees. And uh, you can see that that by all of these, these uh, how do you say, shots and how they've been drawn, that these are young people. They act like young people. They talk like young people. Even Samari, you know, doesn't, I mean, clearly, uh, you know, mature, uh, older woman doesn't sit like that. It's more like a, Post that younger kids are doing right, and I love that these these tiny little details. So it seems that Armor uh, has planted a some kind of a tracking device, but they need some tracking device equipment to track the helicopter. So yes, this is coming from what I believe this is coming from the eighties, believe nineties stuff. Don't know. Um, so yeah, there's no you know new technology in in our time in this comic because this is not the comic. I love it. So um, they're going to make a detour. But in the meantime, Summary is telling uh, about herself. Uh, so basically, she's explaining her origin and that she is um, being found on a Japanese island that are full with martial arts people. Uh, because uh, there was one uh, once upon a time, uh, time period is unknown. There is a Russian fighter and an American fighter battling each other uh, above the islands of Japan and they are crashing down of the American one is crashing down and there is some kind of a you know parachute floating down and summary is basically hidden in that uh, you know little box or compartment or bag and that's how what she found she's been raised by uh, by an older woman who uh, teaches her martial arts uh, to become a samurai if you will and and now she is back on on American soil, but she doesn't know all the things that are going on. She doesn't know modern technology. She doesn't know the things in the world because she's been grown up in a seclusive island. Really cool. And um, we skip a little bit here. We see this uh, this uh, Tom Savini, I believe that's his name. Uh, he's getting taught a lesson. Uh, Tom Savini is uh, very vocal about not wanting to be kidnapped. And he uh, almost falls out of the helicopter and then he's getting thrown back uh, real quick. Again, this stuff, you don't see this anymore in comics. This is just, I don't know, it's just the pacing, the the way they um, the villains handle themselves, really cool, instead of, you know, shouting and shooting. No, this subtle little things. I mean, this, this grunt here just picks him up with one hand and throws him inside. And... Um, so there's something going on with these guys. I believe they are bio biologically enhanced, if you will, uh, maybe experimented on. And that's actually a little spoiler. Um, and he is suspicious about what's going on here. And he doesn't know what they, what these people want from him. So again, uh, skipping a few pages, uh, we go to, um, to our heroes again, and they are discovered that the um, helicopter has landed in some kind of... Um, how do you say roller coaster park, but then in the middle, and then uh, they use this device to track it. And uh, Summary, who is uh, like I said, amazed about of the she's in awe of all these modern technology. And um, she is what I like about Summary, she's not a child or a kid with um, martial arts powers, she's also very what's the word deductive? Is that the word? She has. 
she, how do I explain it? She observes a lot. She doesn't say much. She observes stuff, what's going on. And then she makes a strategy plan how to deal with those things. Um, I'm going to explain you a little bit later here. So summary is, um, you know, never been into this, uh, what, what do you call it, affair? And then um, they're breaking in into uh, to this um, roller coaster thing. And then summary, here's some drums uh, on the ground uh, or in the ground. And then Megalith jumps up and, you know, breaks in, as you can see here. And again, summary is very amazed by his what he's doing. But she also knows that what they are doing, they are young people. And that's what she thinks in her head. Uh, they are sometimes rash and uh, impulsive. Uh, they don't have strategy. They are strong. They can fight and their heart is in a good place. But they are young and they do young stuff. And I mean, like I said, impulsive, not thinking ahead. And that's exactly what happens because um, Megalith uh, falls down uh, into this hole, shaft, what you will. And they did jump down. And then... Um, we skip to the evil guy. It's called Mr. Green. And Mr. Green wants to greet the, the people that he's been abducted. But then before we do that, we switch to uh, our heroes. And what I meant with uh, Summary being observant, she sees something on the plane or on the helicopter. And I believe this is some kind of oil. Not entirely sure. But then they're getting attacked by these um, very cool looking, uh, let's say, minions or villains. Well, these are not really villains, but you know, soldiers, if you will. Um, can I show this? Yeah, why not? Anyway, then we have a cool looking fight and uh, Summary uh, says, interesting, when I first met Megalith, uh, he appeared um, very passive. Now he is uh, joyfully initiating combat if it was to protect me. And um, well, my other new friends contend hand to hand just as impulsively and as futility. Is that how you say it? And I didn't know there was there was this aggressive. I mean, armor just kills these <laughs> this guy instantly. So they are not your typical heroes, you know, that don't kill. They no, they are basically defending themselves and with the you know do whatever it takes to stop the bad guys. And also, I love this shot. Um, Summary just jumps into the to Mr. Green, but he is hiding. And then um, the, these grunts are uh, attacking her and then she does this and it looks freaking cool. They are, she's slitting their, how do you say, the tendons, the legs. Uh, again, she is, in my opinion, way more interesting than Electra. Electra is a more known character, more fleshed out character. But um, she, Samuri uses way different skills, although her quote unquote power set is similar. Uh, but then again, not. Uh, what happens then is that um, Mr. Green is uh, filling the, the chambers with gas and he orders them to, uh, well, to attack the young heroes. And it's and seemingly that they are immune or something. And Summary is deducting again what is Mr. Green is doing. Uh, she responds to, um, um, you know, the, the other superheroes that she's with. Uh, but she knows she's, it's futile and then she's preparing for something. Uh, so they're getting their ass kicked because of the gas and then uh, they're being dragged away and if they are being dragged away we see Summary's not entirely unconscious and she says conserve probably oxygen. So Mr. Green is uh, telling Mr. Uh, Savani uh, because he wants to bargain himself out of the whole thing and, and but he is useful to Mr. Green for whatever reason. I don't know what, um, but he shows him something and it's basically the end of the book. And I'm going to show you it uh, because it looks freaking cool. Now look at this. Wow, this is amazing. So these soldiers are, you know, being enhanced, um, experimented on um, to be stronger, faster, uh, more immune to pain. And so he has a role in that. But what the role is, I don't know because I haven't read the other comics. Um, I don't know what Mr. Green wants, uh, but I'm, I'm very intrigued and uh, I'm going to review the other issue as well. Um, so sorry, guys, that it takes too long, but I have a lot to say about this. Oh, this is a, uh, 
Oh, I didn't know that. Wait a minute. Now that looks working cool. And this is it. Oh, nice, uh, nice ending shot. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you like uh, the video. Give me a like. Leave me a, how do you say, a subscription? <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. That's what I wanted to say. And maybe you want to comment something or not. Anyway, I'll see you next time.